Square Enix finally has a release date for Kingdom Hearts 3, and while it's not 2018, they do have other stuff coming this year. Yes. We're going to talk about that in a review of their press conference for E3 2018 on the pause menu. I'm Corey. This is Chris. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out. But Square had about a 30-minute conference. It's mm-hmm. pre-recorded, kind of like Nintendo was. Uh, they showed off, I th- they opened with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. Uh, so this is a game that I'm personally very interested in. Um, I called uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider my game of the year that year. So, um, It looks more combat? Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about... more combat? I'm, I'm worried about this game. Um, Why? They didn't show almost any tombs. They didn't show tombs. And but they mentioned that there will be more tombs. Like, they said there will be more right. tombs. But it's... More dangerous tombs, too. The first game had too much combat, so they reeled it back in and focused on the tombs. And now this other one, they're, now they're focusing back on the combat. Like, she was straight up Batman. Like, she, she had, like, vision and all God, that. And how like, many ways can you kill people now? Right. And it's, again, I'm not mad at it. It looks like there was, like, a mark and execute system, right. too. Um, right. Double kill that she did. Like, which which makes sense. Like, she's she's becoming better at her skills and everything. Yeah, and like the while, growth. While it looks fun, like, the thing about those games that set them apart is the exploration and the tombs. And I found it very weird that they didn't even do, like, a quick two-minute thing but on again, that. But I, again, I I, feel like the tombs will be there. Now, I feel like showing it would be spoiling. But, you, you know? You, show me just show me two minutes of one of your new tombs. You don't have to solve it. Just show me something new about it. Like, you showed me all this content with this new combat. Like, But, again, that's... That's what that series got criticized was the combat because it focused too much on it. So, to me, that makes me a little nervous, um, especially because while it does keep showing all these different locations, that to me that means it's going to be less open and more linear. And I'm just like, it makes me really nervous about that game. And especially since it is a new developer, mm-hmm. you know, Crystal Dyna- Dynamics is not doing it. So, I'm still going to play that game. I, it's, it will still probably be good, but I'm just wondering if it can even live up to or surpass Rise of the Tomb Raider. That's where I'm sort of well, nervous. The best, so. I mean, Rise of the Tomb Raider had a good balance of all of it. The mm-hmm. open world aspect, the tombs were amazing, and a good story, you know. Right. Uh, I, I think this is similar to the Anthem problem we had. I mean, they didn't show what we really wanted to see in the trailer. Right. I mean, uh, the yes, they definitely showed a lot more combat in that game. But again, it's called Tomb Raider. I mean, we love the combat, but we love the unique good-looking tombs and right. finding the puzzles to solve these tombs and not really necessarily get into what's the, at the end of it, but, like, just completing it. I mean, that's that's the joy of this game. Uh, I feel like if that's not in this game, then it's not yeah, going to be great at all. Yeah, it could be a big all. swing and a miss but on that one. I feel like, since it was so criticized from the first one, in that regard, it's like, it has, they have to be there. I hope so, but, mm-hmm. I mean, Scranks has made some pretty big blunders before, <laughs> so... Um, there's a lot of stuff in here of stuff that we don't play, so it's hard for us to comment. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV is getting some new stuff. Yeah. Uh, they're doing something with a crossover with yeah. Monster Hunter. What is this? <laughs> is this its right. own game? Is this no, some I, kind I, of DLC? It's a DLC to 14. I think yeah. it is for 14. Yeah, for sure. I think it's just they're bringing some of the Monster Hunter monsters yeah. as enemies. To me, that's what it looked like. That'd be cool. Which is cool. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But no. we, unfortunately, we just don't play Final Fantasy XIV. No. I hear nothing but good things. Um, that's another one, you know, apparently that game was awful its first year, but they did so much as even changing the name and everything and kind of rebooted it. Do you think it's, people like it? There's so. still servers for Final Fantasy XI. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Just that's wondering. A question, yeah. Um, maybe. Comment. If you know, let yeah, us you know. know yeah, if we don't. Know. Uh, they showed Dragon Quest XI. Um, I've actually never played a Dragon Quest game. I so, haven't, yeah. but that looks good. Yeah, it looks cool. Like, the colors, I feel like that would look great on your OLED TV. Like, mm-hmm. I mean... I've never played one either, but, like, I feel like this would be a fun one to get me in. Because I think Dragon Quest, like, each Dragon Quest is different. I mean, it's Mm -hmm. not, they're all standalone games. Uh, I I think... I would pick this up. Yeah, it's, I'm more likely to play it since it's on PS4 now, where Mm -hmm. it used to be a portable game. Not wrong with portable, but it's, you know, that's almost all JRPGs kind of feel the same on portable, Mm -hmm. so hopefully they're going to harness, you know, some of the PS4 power. Uh, but no, like that's that's something down the line for twenty bucks. I'd definitely hop into like, it. It just so. you know for me it just like graphic wise it looks so smooth but mm-hmm. built around this cartoon style. Right. Like I would really call that a really nice artwork, you know, just because of how it clashes. So I'm more curious of just the gameplay, just when playing and so forth. But uh, yeah, I've always wanted to get in one. I hope this is the one that's going to do so for me. Yeah, uh, they showed Just Cause Four again. Um, we I feel like we've seen this game like five times now. <laughs> I mean. Uh, as in, like, 
we saw Just Cause 3 that we're going to see Just Cause 4 or like no, so many like, times at this conference? this trailer, yeah. Because like I feel the same for what I just said there. Like, yeah. I played one Just Cause. I feel like this is going to play just like the other Just Cause, except now there's a tornado. Yeah, Just Cause 3 was a step backwards. Um, that game introduced some cool things, but you couldn't do anything with it. Sure. Um, so, and that game ran like garbage um, on consoles. Like, it, horrible frame rates. It didn't stuttering and all that stuff. So, I, I always feel like Just Cause are, you know, RPG, or RPG, which is big world games of, and they take little pieces of other games that we've already played. Right. You know, like, it looks like, the area looks like Wildlands, mm -hmm. you know, um, well, it, I don't even know what else you can yeah, say, but, it, but they take the little things from different games, I feel like. My problem is, is and I, I hope I'm wrong, is I feel like Just Cause 2 was the right game at the right time. Like, it came out when there wasn't a lot else, and it came out and there was an openness to it yeah. that didn't really exist. Uh, I kind of feel the same way with, like, Saints Row. Like, Saints Row the Third came out at the right time. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the craziness of it, like, you didn't get that anymore. But now, open world games with craziness, you've got Crackdown, and you've got the Saints Rows, and, like... So I don't know if this game kind of fills its niche anymore. And that's where I don't know if Just Cause 3 was just underdeveloped or didn't have enough time. Sure. And we, Just Cause 3 wasn't that long ago. So yeah. they're spitting out Just Cause 4 really quickly. Um, it does look better, though. It looks like the chaos is a little bit more the focus, which is where Just Cause 3 failed. Uh, the tomato stuff looks cool, but mm -hmm. it looks very flashy. Like, it doesn't look like it might change the gameplay. And that's the other thing is they didn't... I've been watching demos on IGN and you know all that stuff, and I don't, I haven't seen the demo for this yet. Maybe I missed it, um, but so I, I need to see that game played for like twenty or thirty yeah. minutes before I can really kind of you know decide on it. Um, I mean, the best part of Just Cause are always the grappling hook thing system yeah. that you have. Yeah, you know, finding how high you can go and just falling for mm -hmm. like a minute at a time. Like, and it's always fun. It's always beautiful as you do so and as you drop. But like, that was, I mean, that was a, only what did it for me, I guess. Yeah. Uh, there was a new game announced called Babylon Falls uh, by Platinum, coming to PC and PS4. Um, very, they didn't really show any gameplay, but it was a, it was a very kind of two minute trailer. It the style looked very kind of. Uh, I wouldn't even know how you describe it. Yeah, uh, it reminded me a lot of Dark Souls. Like it, it did. Yeah, like the the style of it did. Um, but we, you know, we've said this a long time ago. We've had many debates about Dark Souls, and I always said I wish Platinum would give that a shot. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. maybe this maybe this is the game, uh, but there's not a lot to say other than there was a trailer for it. But we know yeah. Platinum's doing it. Yeah. Uh, the other game that they did where they didn't show a lot was The Quiet Man. Um, what is this? You're yeah. you're uh, like just a death person mm -hmm. fighting people. It's an action combat game. Like, and they didn't attach a developer to it. And I'm oh, oh. I'm convinced this is Remedy's game. Like, Remedy did mm -hmm. that with. Um, quantum break they had the live action and then they had the gameplay yeah and the style of him um like it had that sort of like motion blur around all the characters yeah. and it looked very similar and even he did the slow motion you know punch <laughs> like so i'm like i'm convinced this is remedy's game uh, and they announced that they were no longer working exclusively with microsoft sure. but i think everyone assumed that meant that they were going multi-plat Maybe maybe this is a timed exclusive, and maybe it will come to Xbox eventually. Uh, but... Which one? Which game was PS4 exclusive? And this? It wasn't the Quiet. Was it? Was it Babylon's Fall? They, they both. Yeah, they both of them only had a PS4 and PC logo. Oh, really? Yeah. So yeah, could be a big deal. Yeah. So and I mean, they've Near was a um, PS4 exclusive originally too. Yeah. So and that was from Square. So and that's Platinum. So I'm I'm guessing that's probably an extension of that that uh, agreement, whatever you want to call it, and I feel like near coming to Xbox is Square Enix sort of testing the waters to see if these games will sell on Xbox. Um, but yeah, no, The Quiet Man, I don't know, that was weird that they didn't even attach a developer to it, but I am convinced that's Remedy's it's, game. It's such a strange trailer. So, like, yeah. It looks cool, though. I like, want to know more of it. Yeah, I really for sure, do. For sure. So, um, I guess that kind of brings us, oh, there's Octopath Traveler. I think, I am, this yeah. is, I'm, this is the game I'm most excited for this year from Square Enix. It just, I don't, it's just, the art style and the classic RPG feel to it and the story where it sounds like there's a big story since you follow like eight characters and so forth that have their own special abilities. Like, I've been waiting for this game since they announced it on the Switch. Like, mm -hmm. even the Switch came out. That, like, that demo was cool uh, that they put out of it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to be that person, but like, this game has an indie look that I like. Like, I'm... Yeah. That, that pixel art style can be very just like taxing because... Of so many games do it, but this one seems to sort of make it its own. Like it, do, it, mm -hmm. it is pixel art, but it doesn't 
look like a, a, every other pixel art game. So I think I'll have to wait for you to play that one and see what you say. <laughs> um, but it comes out next month, July 14th, yeah. I think. So, I'm super psyched. Yeah, that. so that that's cool. Um, we did have find out more about that uh, Don't Nod game, Captain Awesome, I think it's called. Oh, uh, Captain Spirit? Captain Spirit, yeah. Um, it is 100% free. Mm-hmm. And the reason is is because it's a prequel to the next Life is Strange game, and it's only one episode. Yeah. Um, so my guess is you'll play as that character. And he'll come back. Well, and he's going to grow up. And then oh. you'll play as him in Life is Strange 2. Um, that's my guess, but... And, like, I mean, I'm watching this trailer, I'm waiting for the catch. I'm trying mm-hmm. to find that catch, because in Life is Strange, you had, like, a superpower, basically. Mm-hmm. And he's literally playing as a superhero. Right. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, like, as we watch these trailers, like, all right, where, what does he do? Like, all right, he's shooting a beam out of his hand. Is the beam actually going to shoot out of his hand and nothing happens? Right. You know? Well, what's... I, I wonder if they're going to bring back that aspect. Because, I hope they do. Well, because before the storm didn't have that, obviously. Like, yeah. so, and I don't know, like, because the the thing about Life is Strange was is you could see how it played out because you had that mechanic, but in, before the storm you couldn't. And it's almost just like, shoot, pick your poison, you know, like, do you want to know what happens? Yeah. And then, so therefore you make your decision better, but then, you know, you kind of, that mystery is gone. Whereas before the storm, you get that mystery. It's like, so. I feel like they tease it so well in this one. Like something's yeah. going to happen. He's going to turn on the TV just with his hand. Something, or, yeah, that's or, true. You know, it's, like, it's, it's like Matilda-esque. Yeah, <laughs> you're waiting for that thing to happen where he like abused the superpower that he right. supposedly has as Captain Spirit, but nothing happens. So like they're really teasing us in yeah. that one, man. And that's, no, but that, that's cool. And, and it's, it's free. To, yeah, it's 26 of this month. So I'm, I'm a huge fan of those games. I, it's going to be fun. Yeah, I really, I got to Life is Strange very late but i really like that game. i, I like, just bought the uh the prequel mm-hmm. so like i'm excited to play yeah, through that i like the, i like before the storm I, I think the original was better um but i i'm excited to see what that team does like that's oh definitely that's a very cool game um and so i guess the last the last game that was shown um they did show kingdom hearts the trailer was extended uh, yeah had a couple new things mm-hmm. here and there um we saw Sora cooking some yeah, S- scallops or something. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I I was very disappointed that they didn't have something new. Like I yeah. I kind of figured the reason they were doing this conference or pre-recorded thing was it was for Kingdom Hearts. It was for Kingdom Hearts, yeah. yeah. And I know we saw it at Xbox, but I figured that was just gonna be like a glimpse, whereas Square Enix was gonna go all out with it, mm-hmm. uh, and they didn't. And that's they kind of played it as just another one of their games. Yeah, which and, mean yeah. it is, but uh, I mean. Do they not understand the dedication fan right. base and that's, behind Kingdom Hearts? That's why I'm getting nervous. Like uh, this game, this game can't fail, but it can be subpar. Like, and it's just it, like it just it hurts for me to for you to say that. Right. Man. I don't want to hear that. But also, <laughs> the thing is, is that they didn't show Final Fantasy VII, and they didn't show the Avengers game. Yeah, like what's going on again? And it's just I don't know. Is the Scranks just not get it? Like, are they just oblivious? But that... again, let's give them this. How many times have they actually had a showing, a conference video, it's, it's been or a while. anything? Yeah. Like, it's it's been a while. Like three or four years. You know, so they, they don't normally do this. So, I mean, I'll give them credit because they're showing out the games that are coming out that, uh, and they're really pushing, it sounds mm-hmm. like. Uh, I would say the conference maybe was mediocre at best, but, like, what's going on with Avengers? Right. Like. Where is this? What's well, going? What is? Yeah, Final I mean, Fantasy VII could show up at Sony. Um, true, that hasn't happened yet. It's going to be later on tonight, and so, but I, it's just, I really thought they were going to do more with Kingdom Hearts, and they didn't, and it just it it scares the hell out of me. <laughs> like, God, I'm hoping that they're holding more for another uh, another right. conference. Well, and mean, and they did push it again. Like they pushed it to 2018, and what what was weird about that was is people played it a couple weeks ago, and they swore up and down see, it was coming this year. I think like, the real big deal was Microsoft showing off the trailer for this game. I mean, I honestly think we we'd be more surprised if this like uh, at Square Enix if we saw that trailer right. on the Square Enix but, before Right, Kingdom but, but they but they knew that like they they made that deal. Yeah. It's not like they were oblivious to it. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It was just weird, but I don't know. Um, it was fine. Um, they showed more gameplay than, you know, some of these other people did, and yeah. so that's cool. Um, but I gotta admit, like, I'm I'm nervous about a lot of their games. I'm very nervous about Tomb Raider. I'm very nervous about um, Kingdom Hearts, and I, The Quiet Man. I so I hate to say interested. I'm super interested in that <laughs> game, and I, I am being biased because I'm fairly certain that's Remedy's game, and I'm a huge Remedy guy. So like, but that looks cool, but. 
it was a decent showing, um, but I, the presentation of it was a little weak, I thought. So what would you grade? I'd probably have to go C plus. Um, it was good. They showed gameplay, which some people didn't, which was kind of annoying this year, but uh, it could have been presented better. Like, they knew that Just Cause was shown at Microsoft, Kingdom Hearts was shown at Microsoft. You could have gave us something else. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know if it's fair to say, to judge them on what they didn't show, mm -hmm. but why wasn't the Avengers game there? Maybe it'll be at Sony. I don't think it will because they already have Spider-Man, but that makes me nervous. And it's like, how did you not even... I don't even care about Final Fantasy VII. How did you not at least give an update on that? Exactly. So... Again, I don't think the game's ever coming out. <laughs> I, I would agree. So, I would give it a C plus as well. I mean, it would have been much higher if they showed us more detail to Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy VII. I mean, you can't just tease Final Fantasy VII for past, what, maybe last two or two E3s now or whatever. I don't yeah. know when they announced it. But, like, not to say nothing about it. Now, I, that, that story will change, again, if we see it somewhere else, you know, right, but right. nothing. But we're, we're running out of time. Like, we've got yeah. only two conferences left. And I don't, we're not going to see it on. Nintendo. No, so, I mean, you would only they, have to see it at some Right. So, we'll see. Um, that's going to happen a little later tonight, and I'm sure we'll talk about that. So, but no, um, decent showing. But again, I'm excited for a lot of their games, but yeah. I am nervous. So, that's going to do it. Let us know what you thought about Square Enix in the comments below, and tune in next time for Ubisoft. <laughs>